Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, uh, I will be reviewing uh, Pixel Experience ROM on my Redmi Note 8. So as you can see, first of all, the fingerprint is working just fine and it has facial recognition. So now you can ask me that the last day I have flushed this ROM and I'm giving you a review and just day after. It's because there is nothing to explore that much because everything is same as I, what you will find on another ROM like if you use arrow os or other roms so you will get the same features uh even less in this rom so there is nothing to explore so that's why um i'm giving you the review very early like just uh a day after installation so there is nothing to explore here everything is same as what you will find in another or stock roms like aosp based rom so that's it and uh in this rom actually there is nothing no problem at all and there is something cool about this rom is that what i have found i didn't found in another rom is that if you tap behind it will take a screenshot so if i double tap as you can see it's to uh, screenshot even if you place it on your table or somewhere else if you knock the table it will do it same as you can see here it took the screenshot so it can feel the i think vibration and it the feature was in iphone for a long time but i don't know when it uh, introduced in android uh, android roms so if you are want to use this feature or if you flashed this rom so if you looking for the feature so you can find it on the gesture option and i think so it's in the gesture or some like quick tap so in the gesture option you, if you go quick tap you will get it or you can do it something else like you can access your digital assistance by uh, tapping two times uh, behind so if i tap two times i think it, it will not take here to just go back yes it's, it's it's taken the screenshot as you can see so this is one feature i found in this rom which is little unique and it also has good face recognition it can recognize face be uh, quite fast and rather than that there is nothing special about this rom and the camera is mediocre as you can see here in the camera app but i do use the what it called um, gcam so it's just working flawlessly here and one thing to mention is that it this rom has a skin burning problem let me show you uh, if i go here somewhere hopefully you can see here uh, the skin has burned and i can't really show you the skin is burned it's because this rom doesn't support kcal which uh, so i can't really uh, do anything about the display so i can't adjust the brightness and other things for this display that's why it has some kind of issue with the skin ghosting which um, you can control in other rom because they have uh, xiaomi ports option where you can uh, tweak your display settings a little bit so for this rom it's not present so you will getting a like pure stock rom without any kind of uh, additional features even you can't change the toggle also like i really uh, like the wi-fi option here so you in other roms you can change it from here to take your wi-fi and keep here so but the wi-fi toggle is not there so you have to keep internet option that means you have to do one more extra step to get your uh, get the internet connection like to connect with mobile data or connect with whatever wi-fi so there is one more step to do and other than that uh, this rom is quite cool rom there's no issue i have found it's working just fine there is no lag nothing this this uh problem is that it has a skin burning problem and also the lack of features like adjusting you can't really adjust anything here and also um, the navigation field as you can see you can't really hide this one also it's present here so there is no way you can do it other than that uh, this rom is quite cool if you really want to use this rom you can use it it's quite good rom and i love this rom very much right now about the gaming experience i think it will the gaming experience will be quite good because there is not much running process uh, background process let me show you how much ram is using right now if i go developer option and as you can see here it's using 3 gigabyte of ram on average and free is 854 so 
I think that's enough for running any game, which is uh, anyway. This ROM is uh, this phone is not a gaming phone, but if you really want to game on this phone, yes, it's possible, quite possible, you can do it. So that's it for Google Experience ROM. I can't really uh, say anything about it because there is nothing to explain or say because there is no features at all. So the uh, this is not a original launcher. The, the launcher I'm using is launcher launcher. Which is uh, which can give you some trick like you can change something here. You can remove the search bar and other things. Also, you will get double tap to uh, turn off your display, which I didn't activate here. So those thing you can got it launcher launcher, which is not available in your uh, stock ROM stock launcher. So that's it for today. Hopefully, this video is will be helpful for you. Uh, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.